you very much for giving us two extra African players, Achara and Basi from Morocco. My question is this, I'm looking at the renovation going on in the stadium, um, the standing free zone over there. The plan was it to turn into a soccer specific stadium because we have like few of them here in, in the country. And second question is this, beside um, all these improvements going on here, you know, is there any plan to infuse other entertainment um, um, stuff, you know, for halftime to improve or to give fans more experience at the stadium on match days? Yeah, so to, to the first question, Sam, yes, this is a South Coast Pacific stadium that might hold alternate events, but far and away, the primary purpose is for it to be a South Coast Pacific stadium. That's how it was designed. Um, it was sort of, in, I, I call it kind of the 2.0 version of South Coast Pacific stadiums. You saw the original versions in places like the first one that Columbus debuted about 25 years ago, then you had this one come in about 10 years ago. And, uh, you know, in recent years, places like Austin um, have uh, done an extraordinary job, credit to them for uh, delivering uh, an outstanding stadium and stadium experience. What we're trying to do is being in the 2.0 version as compared to an Austin's 3.0 or a new Columbus's 3.0 is, is raise the experience to be on par with uh, our friends uh, who are, have more recently built. Um, uh, so again, that, that effort is ongoing. It's, uh, it's never going to be at its completion. It's just going to be every off season we're going to be trying to, to add something new. Um, uh, to your second question uh, around uh, half times, and then I'll further add uh, on, on uh, non-soccer dates, particularly um, uh, when we have uh, either international windows or in the off season, I would love to see this uh, venue host uh, more concerts and community events. Um, for it to only be activated, you know, uh, a quarter of the year, um, I, I, I think uh, it, it, it is not what I would like to see. And then halftime, I, I would say uh, credit to our organization, credit to folks like Dash President Jess O'Neill, for uh, at the J Dash playoff game we had uh, a great halftime uh, 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 show with the Texas Southern Marching Band, um, which really reflected uh, some of our local culture and, and, and gave, I think, a lot of fans who hadn't seen something like that before uh, an authentic Houston experience. Yeah, you spoke about um, the target is to make the playoff down with look at the um, players coming in and those that left and you said here that the target is to make the playoff. Is it like a uh, uh, how am I going to phrase it? Like a mandate to the new manager, but now saying that it's either the playoff or bust. I don't think it needs to be a mandate to Ben because Ben's a very competitive guy and Ben wouldn't be taking on the job if it wasn't his own personal mandate to qualify for the playoffs. Uh, it, let me be very clear nobody in this organization uh, will be satisfied with the results of the past. And uh, people like Ben, people like Sam at the Dash. Uh, 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 Pat Onstad, uh, Alex Singer, we all have the common objective of uh, qualifying for the playoffs and competing for championships. Thank you. Can we expect any more, perhaps, star player signings this year? And do you feel like you've gotten a return on your investment for the signing of Hector Herrera last year with all the hype so uh, There will be more signings, and I'll uh, direct some of those questions over to, to Pat. He might be as cagey as I am right now. Um, uh, with respect to uh, Hector signing, um, look, uh, it was a challenging season for Hector last year, coming in mid-season and then having a couple of nagging injuries and uh, with the World Cup on the horizon, um, I, I, I think uh, 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 understandably he wanted to be protected with his health. Um, I think we have uh, Hector this year uh, from what I'm hearing from Camp, uh, who determined, who's a leader, um, and is, is focused on uh, getting the results that he expects of himself in the club. What's your message to fans, to back fans, to continue to believe in what the organization is doing forward? My message is uh, I have high expectations for myself, I have high expectations for this club. Uh, I'm uh, a, 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 a trying to make positive change across the organization. Hopefully you see that here today. And, and, and so uh, I'm invested in this, and I hope my invest, investment... Um